I moved my all my entire life in a truck from Tampa, Florida to Las Vegas. Um, I get settled in about six weeks into me being in Las Vegas. I get a phone call from the manager here in Shanghai. All right, tonight is the main event. We're in the house, the haunted house, Min Shanghai, JD Live, DJ DeVille, Club Killers. It's going down. One of the big things here is transportation and you learn very quickly that taxi drivers do not care about anyone if you're in a hurry to get somewhere you can just be stranded on the side of the road and you might as well just start walking and that's just the way it kind of goes here it's a, it's it's definitely it's definitely a challenge well we got my driver pang here he's hanging out Hello. <laughs> we're, we're getting there so we're on the road one of the great things about Beyond the Road is it's not always work. You get to have a little bit of fun. So let's check this one out. Unbelievable. I can't even explain it. Amazing. The reason that somebody like me is out here is because our music on Club Killers is actually uh, very popular out here. It's just uh, the, the energy level that we have, like the, the, the top 40 mixed with the EDM, is huge here um, and it's very important to the crowds and the DJs that are out here don't have any other way to get so You need an open format DJ like to Bill to be able to read that crowd and to know what kind of music to play. They want energy from the open to close of the doors. My name is Tracy Murphy. I was the lounge manager for Mint Shanghai during the time that DeVille was the music director for Mint in Shanghai. It's been open for almost 10 years. It started out as a privately owned nightclub, so it was, there's this prestigiousness and this exclusivity to it. You know, you, and now it's a little bit more relaxed, but you do still kind of need to know somebody to get in. Being a music director in Shanghai doesn't mean you're directing anything. Starting in Wisconsin, I never really started in a big market. DeVille kind of went into this with the mindset that he was going to have complete freedom. That, that's the one thing I, I feel like I need to put out there first and foremost because there I didn't actually have any power. There's so many other things outside of my control that I wasn't able to actually do my job. Um, I, you know, that was a big disappointment. So here we are, we're still on the bun, uh, just to kind of give you an idea of how insane and out of control this place can be. Uh, New Year's Eve 2015, uh, I worked at this club right in this building. Uh, we were facing everything, there was a half million people on this boardwalk. And unfortunately, right around midnight, there was a big light show in Pudong and there was a stampede. Shock and horror in Shanghai after a deadly stampede breaks out at a New Year's celebration on the city's famous riverfront, the Bun. Because of that, uh, our club was actually implicated in the situation and we, uh, we actually lost the club because of it. Traveling overseas as a younger DJ is, is a really, really big opportunity, but you have to look at the bigger picture and you have to uh, know the investment of time and risk involved. It's a calculated risk. Coming out here is amazing. It's just, there's always something more. You know, like, as, as a DJ, there's always something more. And, you know, it, I, I don't have any regrets about what I've done overall, but just the, the perception of marketing and the, the bigger picture is something I wish I could tell my younger self how to take advantage of out here. I just got back to Vegas. It's been a long, long ride. I connected through Seattle. Total flight time was like 18 hours and change with layover. I'm exhausted, I'm ready for some food. It's good to be back in Vegas. Well, I'm here in Las Vegas. I'm officially a Las Vegas resident and um, it's been three months. On the DJ side of things, uh, it's been a really big challenge. It's Kind of like I'm a new DJ in a new city. I'm like the new kid in school. So you have to kind of relearn the politics and the way things work in, in, in this type of market. 
So it's been very educational and very humbling. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to being in the city because I've always kind of looked at Las Vegas as my Mount Everest. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what can happen and how I can grow professionally here. So I'm very excited. I just got some really big news from Alex. He just brought me into his office. He told me that I'm actually gonna be a, a featured co-headliner for a big party that he's gonna be planning. Um, it's gonna be at Light Night Club, and it's gonna be really big, I guess, because he's doing billboards, he's doing a really big marketing plan. Uh, it's a lot of exposure for me here in Vegas, so I'm super excited. All that news he just told me is crazy, so I'm looking forward to what he's got planned. I don't even know what's going on. When it comes down to it, my entire life has been on the road. But now that I'm here full time in Las Vegas, I can really say that my career has a place it can call home.